the enhanced combat potential of the new tank results from its powerfully armed new combat turret module with highly automated fire control system, from its integrated multi-level protection, the improved chassis, the use of the latest generation of digital communication facilities, and implementation of battle interaction control system. In terms of firepower, the new Russian tank is superior to most of its equivalents worldwide, particularly in terms of searching capabilities, speed of target detection, accuracy and effective fire range. Perfection is accomplished by combining the new automated fire control system with the improved tank gun, the innovative remote-controlled machine gun mount and the modernized guided weapon system. Two A46 M5 gun. The most advanced technologies and finest engineering concepts, well grounded in years of experience in tank artillery design and manufacturing, are applied in the making of the enhanced 125 mm gun. The improvements have provided for higher precision and fire accuracy due to the new constructive solutions and technologies introduced at the production stage. The gun has a high rate of effective fire range with conventional ammunition. For example, with the APDS projectile, the range is up to 2700 meters, which is the best result in the world. The tank is armed with the improved 2A46 M5 gun. In addition to the engineering solutions improving the gun itself, the 2A46 M5 is equipped with a barrel bend detector to increase fire accuracy. This device registers the bending of the barrel, resulting from environmental conditions and interior heat inside the barrel upon firing, and enters the correction data into the fire control system. The constantly high rate of fire is up to 8 rounds per minute, which is ensured by the automatic loader. The rate of fire is sustained on the move under any conditions. In this respect, the tank is unsurpassed and has no rivals in the world. The automatic loader holds 22 out of the 40 rounds the tank carries. The tank's ammunition includes four types of gun rounds, which guarantee destruction of all enemy targets and successful execution of a wide range of fire missions on battlefield. Heat shells are to destroy armored vehicles, brick and reinforced concrete structures, as well as manpower sheltered in field fortifications. APDS projectiles are designed to defeat modern tanks with combined armor protection. The guided missile with a shaped charge warhead hits armored and heavily protected small-sized targets with high accuracy. In addition, it can be used to destroy low-flying helicopters. High explosive fragmentation shells are essential in combat against manpower, artillery and field engineering facilities. The guided weapon system can effectively hit targets at a distance of up to 5 kilometers long before the tank enters the destruction zone of the enemy, since modern tanks are normally capable of hitting targets with conventional ammunition at ranges of under 3 kilometers only. The missile released from the gun's missile launcher is laser guided. Fire accuracy is achieved by turning on the automatic target tracking function in the fire control system, which fully automates control of the missile after the gunner takes aim. This enables you to hit targets with probability approaching 100%. The T-90S modernized tank has an extra firing channel made up by the remotely operated machine gun mount. Aiming of the machine gun at all aspect angles is conducted by means of the commander's panoramic sight. Staying inside the tank, independent of the gunner's actions, and regardless of the main gun and combat turret position, the commander can deliver accurately aimed fire and destroy manpower and anti-tank firepower of the enemy at any time round the clock.
especially on the flanks and in the rear, in the course of highly mobile combat operations in isolation from the main body. The machine gun mount is stabilized in elevation and azimuth and therefore can destroy targets practically all around. Installing a 7.62 mm coaxial machine gun on the mount has increased the amount of ammunition to 800 rounds in two magazines of 400 rounds each and ensured long-term combat with no need to reload. The machine gun on the mount is unified with the coaxial machine gun of the tank's main armament. The fire control system is fully upgraded. Now it includes a commander's sight, a gunner's sight and a parallel sight, a new weapon stabilizer and a new ballistic computer with an extended set of sensors. There is also a component previously absent, the video image processing equipment. The gunner's sight with two axis independent stabilization of field of view is multi-channel. It has a sighting and a thermal channel, a built-in laser range finder and a missile control laser channel. The sight enables the gunner to detect and accurately hit targets under any conditions. That is due to the improved optics and high precision stabilization of the sight's field of view on both vertical and horizontal axes at 0.1 milli radians. Commander's station has been largely improved in terms of target detection, firing and combat management. For this purpose, a panoramic sight, eight prismatic vision devices and the all-round video observation system are newly installed on the T-90S modernized tank. Commander's panoramic sight with the two-axis independent stabilization of field of view has a thermal and a television channel and the built-in laser range finder. It provides 360 degree target detection and tracking. External video observation system ensures the commander's all-round surveillance over the adjacent area. Its four television cameras can work in low light conditions. Commander's nearest visibility is simultaneously provided by the eight prismatic vision devices located around the perimeter of the hatch. Each device has an indicator showing presence of the panorama field of view in the device's observation sector. There is a mode of aligning the sighting line of the panoramic sight with either a chosen prismatic vision device around the commander's hatch or the field of view axis of one of the TV cameras. One can also automatically align the panoramic sighting line with the direction on the electronic map on the commander's multifunctional control panel. All those functions significantly increase the commander's visual and searching capabilities. Image quality of the commander's video viewing device is enhanced due to the system of digital image processing of the video signals from the thermal and television observation channels. Therefore, a T-90S commander can recognize targets at distances of up to 5,000 meters. In addition, the equipment performs the function of automatic target tracking, and targets may also be tracked independently by the commander and the gunner at the same time. The T-90S modernized tank is equipped with a TV parallel sight shared by the gunner and the commander, who can thus conduct observation and firing when their respective sights are out of order. The ballistic computer is there to provide automatic record of all data affecting the firing conditions right before the shooting. This eliminates errors in the input data and thus considerably increases the fire accuracy. Moreover, due to the flexibly reprogrammable circuit for calculation algorithms, one can enter the ballistic parameters for new types of ammunition. A new weapon stabilizer is installed on the T-90S modernized tank. It is based on digital technologies. This provides high stabilization precision and increases the speed of horizontal swapping of weapons. 
The maximum efficiency of the tank weapons in use is determined by perfect adjustment of the commander's and gunner's searching options and by the opening of their respective independent channels of target detection, tracking and destruction. Those options realize the highly effective gunner hunter mode of the fire control system wherein the commander conducts observation and assessment of the tactical situation, regardless of time of day. Detects and recognizes targets, whereupon he, so to speak, passes the targets over to the gunner for extermination and goes on with the target search. Implementation of new engineering solutions in the armament and fire control system of the tank brings about the following improvements. The target detection period is reduced. The preparation time for firing the first round is cut down to 10 seconds, which is the best rate in the world. The range of target detection is increased to up to 5,000 meters in daylight and at least 4,000 meters at night. The effective ammunition firing range has risen the probability for the guided missile to hit the target is rated closely to 100%. The T-90S modernized tank design retains the traditional Russian ideology of complex protection. In spite of the slight increase in the tank's weight, the vehicle has low silhouette and small dimensions. In combination with camouflage painting corresponding to the combat terrain and the heat shields around the power pack compartment, this makes the tank poorly noticeable on battlefield in both infrared and optical range and reduces the chances for its being hit. Once the tank is detected, its automatic screening system prevents the vehicle from being hit by anti-tank missiles. Almost half a century of experience in creating dynamic protection for military vehicles and our world leadership in the design and implementation of such technologies have made it possible for us to develop the new integrated protection system for the T-90S modernized tank, which is resistant to all anti-tank ammunition types and which is based upon the new generation modular principle. Additional security is provided by installation of louver panels to protect the power pack compartment and turret rear from anti-tank grenades. With the presently achieved increase in operation safety, when bullets or fragments penetrate the dynamic protection elements, they do not detonate. Dynamic protection guarantees effective resistance to tandem warheads, secures the tank from the EFP ammunition types, and reduces the impact of shaped charges and armor-piercing projectiles to 80 and 50 percent, respectively. An important advantage of the modular structure of the dynamic protection system is that it considerably simplifies repair and replacement of parts. The protection system is easily operated and maintainable even in combat conditions. Stowage of the tank's ammunition allowance has been optimized. To reduce chances of explosion, the ammunition in the crew compartment, within the possible reach of the anti-tank means, is detached into a separate proof section. Security is maintained by the conic shape of the turret, dynamic protection system and the ballistic container. Hence the high survivability of the crew upon detonation in the isolated stowage section. The ammunition placed in the automatic loader and in the additional storage section for non-automated reload is locally protected by extra shields. Complex protection also includes interior anti-fragmentation panels made of aramid fabric to secure the crew and equipment from the secondary flux of tank fragments.
For the outside protection of the site windows, armored covers are installed, which are remote controlled from the crew compartment. To sum it up, a comprehensive set of safety-inducing measures has ensured the two vital features of the tank's protection systems, namely the vehicle's unsurpassed durability on battlefield and the high survivability of the crew under intensive anti-tank activities of the enemy. The T-90S modernized tank demonstrates high mobility and control, even under extreme heat and dust conditions. This is accomplished by the installation of the high-efficiency 1130 horsepower engine and the steering control system with automatic gear shifter and steering wheel control linkage. As a result, the tank is very fast and maneuverable. Its excellent off-road capabilities are due to its low weight, which allows the modernized T90S to confidently take any routes on and off roads and bridges in various weather conditions. Furthermore, its fine chassis account for the wonderful smoothness on the move. The tank is equipped with a broadband two-channel USW radio set, combined navigation system, and the equipment to integrate the tank into the division battle management system. The interaction control system provides the following. It receives signals by GLONASS and NAVSTAR satellite navigation systems. It significantly accelerates the unit commander's decision-making in combat situation. It considerably reduces the amount of time required for tactical situation assessment and the crew's effective response. In conclusion, due to the perfect combination of the vehicle's fighting and engineering strengths, the crew can successfully conduct military operations in various climatic and weather conditions at any time of day and achieve their goals in the complicated realities of modern land combat.